Hey, welcome to episode four of Share Lemonade. Yes, here we are in the yeah. middle of winter, and we are here to share all the good things that are happening. People embracing this season like never before. Yeah, we also talked to a local uh, business owner who uh, was humbled by the response the community gave to his uh, his bar. He reached out and uh, he's paying it forward now. Yes, truly making lemonade out of lemons, so let's share the good. All right, so all kinds of good happening during this strange season. We talked yeah. to a local business owner, a guy who owns a family-run bar in Wisconsin, yeah. who was one of the first recipients in the whole country to receive money from the Barstool Fund. Yeah, and uh, the response was overwhelming. Check it out. Your story is such a neat story. And during this strange time where some small businesses, you know, are facing so many questions, it sounds like this has been a pretty neat experience for you. You know, I, of course, was more than happy to uh, to fill you guys in. Uh, there's always um, lemonade to be made. There's no question about it. Give us the idea. So when did you find out when this bar stool fund? I mean, I can't even imagine when you found out you'd been selected, <laughs> the emotions there. Well, honestly, the first night that, that we found out, I, I was one of the, the first, we were one of the first six funded, which was shocking. Part of why um, they chose us at bar stools just because we stuck true we were um, getting donations i was giving um, people were stopping and bringing cash donations that i didn't i didn't want a cash donation so uh, we got creative and we started paying it forward to date um, we're doing meals right now at um, house of hope here in green bay because i've got people that are still bringing me money and i, I yes my business needs money but i don't want a donation so we're paying it forward to people that are truly in need. You realize the magnitude of, of the pandemic. And I realized early on um, that there was, you know, it was more than an, than an I or a me situation. It was everyone and, you know, like the state of Wisconsin, right away it was, you know, we're all in it together. You know, my wife pushed me on a, on a phrase early on when I is replaced by we, even illness becomes wellness. I love that you decided to pay it forward. Is so now looking back, like you said, 1974 is a long time ago, and there's ups and downs. But what do you think when you're going to look back at, you know, this this moment and the fact that you were able to pay it forward, and you, there is so much good that came of it. I knew that um, history was going to judge us on how we served our fellow man during this time, and honestly, the second funding. That, that I requested um, because we were due for a second uh, round of funding because they've agreed to fund us every month. I asked for less just because, again, I don't I don't feel comfortable. I know there are so many businesses out there in need. Pretty cool place. I wanna, I'm gonna definitely put it on my list of things to go visit in De Pere when women life is back to how it should be is to come yeah. check out the Abbey. Thank you for telling us your story. Yeah, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Hey, it's Nicole with Share Lemonade. Something really special recently happened in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and I thought I'd tell you about it. New Year's Eve 2020, last day of what wasn't a great year, right? This is a cool way to end. Pause. The Humane Animal Welfare Society in Waukesha County welcomed an airplane full of dogs and cats from overcrowded Louisiana shelters. More than 50 dogs and cats on this flight, all coming up to Wisconsin to be adopted here, given a second chance. Every animal is brought back to the shelters. They're all checked in individually. Any necessary medication or vaccination that's taken care of. Every dog is bathed on that first day they arrive at pause and then in some cases in just a matter of days these animals start getting adopted into loving homes right here in Wisconsin a lot of happy endings to kick off a new year kind of cool to uh, see that in action thought it might bring a smile to your face it certainly did for me talking a lot about nose art right uh, we actually got a very touching picture from Sharon her dog relay leaving behind this nose art a few months ago her dog actually recently passed and she says she can't bring herself to clean the windows. So our heart goes out to you, Sharon. Keep those animal uh, pictures coming. We love it. Let's share the positivity. Hey guys, welcome to the Rock Snow Park. Uh, we're out here sharing the fun, sharing the good. There's so much good and yeah. fun things to do this winter and this is just one place uh, to try some of it. Maybe yeah. an activity you might not otherwise try. That's right. If you feel cooped up, this is the place to be. Let's do it. Yeah. Tell us how great this year's been. Yeah, this year has been crazy. Um, 
But between skiing, snowboarding, and snow tubing, uh, the demand has been super high. We've had a ton of new faces out on the hill, a um, ton of new beginners learning how to ride, and, and families out for skiing and snowboarding. So it's been awesome. Give me an idea, because I mean, again, it's a strange time. People can't do what they normally do, but do you get a sense that people are like, yeah, let's do this winter thing, like embracing it? Absolutely. Yeah, we've had people out here that, you know, have like, I've never seen snow and uh, or are traveling to come here, really? which is pretty crazy. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely people that are like, let's go, let's go try this out, um, especially on the skiing and snowboarding side. That's great. Yeah. What kind of uh, an audience do you guys get? You have families and people coming on dates and, right. and friends, obviously. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a mix. Um, definitely a lot of families this year. Um, and, you know, we have your, your teenagers where mom and dad drop them off for the day and they're here riding all day. Cool. Um, and then, yeah, the families for tubing is, is kind of a big hit. Why do you think everybody's here this year? <laughs> uh, I think, you know, COVID does have people cooped up inside. Um, and there's a lot of activities that, that are canceled um, where families and kids aren't able to go to basketball practice or go to soccer um, or, or other things after school. And that maybe turns them to a new activity this year, which happens to be skiing or snowboarding or tubing, um, where normally wouldn't have that time after school to do. Yeah. Now they're coming out here. So. Yeah, that's an upside. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Awesome. So give people, and if, if you want to invite them out, if they're stuck at being, stuck at being home, give them an invitation, I guess. Yeah, uh, definitely. Come out and, and check us out. Uh, Rocksnowpark.com to get your tickets to secure your spot. All right, Jack, we're not the only ones getting outside and enjoying winter. That's right. We've seen uh, we've seen snow angels. We've seen sledding. We've seen... Ice fishing. Ice fishing. Snowmobiling. Yes. We love the pictures and yes. seeing how you're celebrating this season. So keep them coming, yeah, keep please. Yeah, keep coming. Share the lemonade. Share the good. We love to see how you're embracing winter like never before. Absolutely. Hey everybody, it's Nicole with Share Lemonade, taking just a moment to wine with you. You know when I'm gonna need this is probably after I use these. I got ice skates, bought my own pair of ice skates for the first time in like 30 years. Yes, I'm terrified, but my kids got some and I wanted in on the action. And that's the upside of all this, isn't it? I don't know about your house, but we're certainly embracing winter like never before over here. Let us know how you are getting through this strange season. Are you trying new winter activities? Maybe something you wouldn't otherwise do? Share below, we'd love to see your pictures and videos. Share the positive, let us know good things happening in your life. And um, wish me luck. Hey everybody, this is Jack with What's Good? Well, these are stories from the pandemic that make you feel good. Uh, I wanted to reach out and let you know some, some good things are still happening during the pandemic. The Shedd Aquarium in Chicago closed to the public, but allowed some penguins, Edward and Annie, to take a little stroll throughout the aquarium. It resulted in uh, some nest building. Nice thing about a penguin uh, wedding is it's always black tie. That's what's good. I'm coming at you from my driveway to commemorate Marcus Smith and Benjamin Allen in upstate New York, who are interracial buddies. And they sat in their driveway and they said, hey, look, come have a beer with us. We just want to let everyone know that it's all right. We want to celebrate that. Guess who took notice? Brad Paisley. He ended up putting on a live concert and buying them more beer than they could possibly drink. So. Ben, Marcus, here's to you. There was an opera put on for 3,000 plants in Barcelona, Spain. All the plants were donated to those on the front line fighting the coronavirus. So that's good. This has been what's well, good. I'm Jack with Chair Lemonade. See you next time. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Uh, maybe you made you smile. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. All kinds of good things happening. And please keep those videos and pictures coming. We like to hear about the good things happening in your life. Yeah, share the episode with your friends. Watch. Thanks. Again. Just start again and watch it again. <laughs>